exciting events at Watkins Glen were canceled last summer due to the coronavirus pandemic. And while the races are back, COVID is still on the minds of many at this event. Our 18 News reporter Kevin Gefeller joining us now live from Watkins Glen International with more on the changes we're seeing this year. Kevin, how is it going over there? Yes, thank you. After speaking with some fans here at WGI, I can describe how they feel in two words, amped up. And now while they're happy to be back, I spoke with one official who said that there's going to be some changes for this year. NASCAR weekend is back at Watkins Glen International. After being canceled last year due to the coronavirus pandemic, fans and officials are excited to be back. We're thrilled to be welcoming this event back. It's been a long two years and it's great to be able to start to uh, begin the return to normalcy, uh, if you will. Uh, we're also fortunate in particular with this event and that WGI has been a tremendous community partner throughout the entire COVID pandemic, uh, going far above and beyond uh, the, the rules and regulations that were in effect at the time. And they've proven that they can uh, safely manage uh, large events. Just a few days ago, NASCAR announcing that they are adjusting their COVID-19 protocols, requiring face masks when indoors at all times, regardless of vaccination status. We are not mandating that. They are doing that on their own with NASCAR. Uh, we certainly recognize that we're going to be drawing large crowds into the community this weekend, uh, but we also recognize that uh, this is an outdoor event. Uh, they are taking uh, what we feel are adequate precautions, uh, and ultimately we need to balance the, uh, the risk with reward on this as well. For the local community, a huge reward is raking in revenue. The financial impact of this event and WGI in general is huge, and it's measured in the millions. Uh, a fairly dated study even you know, projected this race alone has a $250 million uh, direct and indirect impact on the region, not just Schuyler County, but 10 counties that surround us as well. So 